Ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is a bad situation to be in, especially trying to prepare a post. But when you got a thought that's worthwhile, you do what you can with the moment and let it be. I just want you to know that for some strange reason, it appears to me that with each individual having the same basic essentials for survival kind of makes me think that we would have a certain desire for not just survival but to really enjoy life I mean the fullness thereof it seems that way to me and it seems that for me, it is required that I feel the pain of the ones that suffer the most. But thank God, I haven't had to go that low just yet. But I want you to know that no one has to feel any pain from a lack of those things that are essential for our survival, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care. Because God has prepared all the resources on the earth or in the earth or above the earth, some seen and some unseen, and given each of us a career objective, I guess, something that we love doing, like playing football or basketball or dancing or singing or, or building houses or creating food or all those different things that we do. God has given us those gifts. We do them those things today. Many of us do what we love doing. Some of us just do what, what the job is required. But in the real world, you do what you've been given to do. <clears throat> what I'm basically saying, ladies and gentlemen, in God's world, you got people talking about now food shortages. You got the President of the United States talking about arresting his adversaries. I mean, you got people actually going through these kinds of things, ladies and gentlemen. You got people talking about stacking the courts. One party saying uh, another party would stack the court, while at the present time, this one, this party is stacking the courts. And what is this stacking the court for? To give them ultimate federal power over the rules and regulations, the laws that they pass that will force other people to do stuff that they might not want to do and say it's legitimate because it has gone through the system. Yes, it is legitimate. Yes, it would have gone through the system. And it is the system of H-E-L-L. -L. It is the system of pure hell. This is why you know, this president can say arrest the, ex, the last president and his vice president and Miss Clinton. That's why he can say that and mean it. That's why he can stand over the bully pulpit and tell you things that no other president would dare belittle themselves, embarrass themselves, embarrass the children and the nation by repeating. But this guy will. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, it is evil. <clears throat> and the thing that got him there is because he's evil. You know that he's evil. And you apparently are afraid of evil. And yes, you are afraid of evil because there's so much evil in all of us. So I'm not trying to knock you or put you down. There is evil in all of us. And that's this guy, he has so much evil in him till he frightens us because he might expose our own evil. And since we have no other recourse, we don't believe in God. We believe in the system. That's why we created the system. To have a God that we can manipulate. To have a God that we can control. That's why the system exists. And so, I guess the only thing I can say to you, ladies and gentlemen, is that you got all the evidence that you need. All the evidence that you need to know that we're dealing with evil. 
And that includes the Republicans and the Democrats. Yes, one is more evil than the other. But all of us are evil. If we are not working on the plan that eliminates evil, if we're not working on the plan of love, then we are all evil. <clears throat> that includes me. Let me say it again. If we are not working on the plan of love, and the plan of love is the plan that God has created and designed for us to have heaven on earth. If we are not working on that plan, then we are all, every last one of us, working on evil and working on evil's plan. <clears throat> all of the evil that exists in the world is permitted and orchestrated by all of us in some form or fashion. And the only thing that would exonerate us from any of it is if we, my friends, are working diligently to create God's plan. And that's for everybody. And if you're not doing that, I offer my services to you. I want to say if you deserve them. And the truth is, if you don't deserve them, you won't be interested. And, 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 and if I look at my posts that I make on the Facebook and YouTube, the way you respond to them, you don't. So I know it must be because you don't know anything about them. I know that they do everything they possibly can to keep you, to prevent you from knowing that this guy right here, Eddie Marcus, is posting anything about your liberation, about freedom to your life. Well, anyway, I'm just out here, this, what, Dollar General? Yeah. And I thought I'd just take a little bit of time and speak to the most common of folks, people who waiting for something to happen. Until next time, Eddie Marcus. Bye-bye.